All right, in this video, we're going to talk about how to add the soundboard to your setup. The soundboard is going to give you a lot, lot more options, a lot more power, um, and it's generally just a wonderful tool to use with your sound system. It gives you a lot more control. So the first thing, as with everything else, is we need to power the soundboard. Notice we already have our amp powered. It's plugged up to a cord. It's good to go. It's turned down. The switch is off, so it's safe. So the first thing we're going to do is we have two things to power the board. We have another one of these, which is just like the speaker, plugs into this, so now you have this. So we're going to plug it in once again, three prong to three prong, keep it all safe. And then we're going to actually plug this in on the back of the soundboard to where the adapter goes. Now. We want to plug up a mic to the board, so we're going to take the other end of the mic cable, which is this guy, just already plugged up, and we're going to go ahead and connect it into channel 1. Right there. Now, each channel is just like the other ones. If you look from the bottom, this is your main volume control, the one that you'll play with. Um, we have left and right, don't worry about that. We have other things here which we're not using. Um, this is where you adjust the bass, the mid-level, and then the treble. So this is the low pitches, frequencies, this is the middle frequencies, and the high frequencies. If you have feedback, you need to turn down the high ones or the mid ones, and it'll make that, that shrill sound go away usually. Um, the very top is the master volume for this. This is where you adjust it to a good level and then leave it for the entire event and then just play with this little volume knob down here. So if something's not loud enough, turn it up here, turn it down there, and you should be good to go. Everything at 12 o'clock is usually pretty good, so we're going to go ahead and start there. So the mic is plugged in at the top of the channel, and then it's already in. The soundboard now has the microphone. The next thing we're going to plug in is our adapter for headphones or computers. So we have these guys. We have to look across these channels down here. Everything down here is the same, but up top this will let us plug it in. So white to white and red to red. Now if you look real close there we have A which is up top and B which is down here. It's A and B. Now this button if it's out is going to be A and if it's in is going to be B. I usually use B, it's a little, little easier to use, um, fewer parts, so we're going to leave that there. Now, anything that comes in through the computer is controlled by these ones. Just like the microphone, we now have the computer or the phone hookup. I'm going to set everything at about 12 o'clock, and we will play with it from there. So we have the volume control that we use. We have the left to right, if you have left and right two speakers. The two that we're going to talk about some other time bass, mid, and high, and then the master control that you set at the beginning and then usually leave until you're done. So, microphone and auxiliary. Now everything is off on the amp, so we're going to go ahead and check it, turn it on, fan comes on, hmm, Aha! It's not plugged in because the fan did not come on. So we'll turn it off. Now we have power. It's good. Um, but now we have all the sound captured in the board. And we have power here. Push the power button, we have power here, but it needs to go from here to here. So we're actually going to go where it says main out. That's where we go to the speakers. Might as well just write speakers there. So, I take one of these big beefy guys, the quarter inch cable, because this is what's handling the juice. So quarter inch cable. From there, into the input that we're really familiar with. Now on the board, we have our master master control, which controls everything. We're going to put it up to zero. That's kind of the standard. Set everything at zero and then work from there. 
So, we're going to turn this up just a little bit because the soundboard is going to make everything a lot stronger. There we go, we have power. Check one, two, microphone check. And it's just turned up a little ways and has a ton more juice already. So now we know that that works. On the board, as I'm talking, check one, two. And turn the master down. Check one, two, check one, two. It's got a lot of power right there. During a show, you're going to play this one. Check one, two, check one, two, check one, two. We're going to turn the bass way up, turn the bass way down. We're not going to turn the treble up because that's the one that usually causes squeals. Now, we're going to go ahead and plug up the phone, which should be turned down before we do it. That's why we got that pop. Turn all the way down. And. the master control of that channel. There's the volume knob on that that you would use during a show to play with it. Turn that down. Here's the bass. All bass. Turn the treble up. Turn the bass up in the truck. So we're going to fade that out. Double check our microphone. Check one, two. It's still live. It still sounds good. And that's the basics for the sound system. Uh, the very first thing you always turn off with the sound system is the amps. The amps are the most protected part of all of this because they're the most likely, while handling power, to explode. <laughs> So, we're going to turn the amp off, volume down, amp off, we'll turn off the board, there's a power switch right there, and then we go about the process of wrapping all the cables back and putting it all away, and that's it.